So what a sight this is. Another edition of this proud competition, just seemingly bigger and better still. Faces, of course, have come and gone, but some things never change. Those first-day feelings, new hopes, new expectations, and the belief that maybe, just maybe, this time it will be your turn. This place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibels spared in this collective chorus. And as you can see, we've already started here. And Dyke kept aware, and it is reclaimed easily. Now it's Maradona. He is through here! Maradona. The referee's awarded a free kick. Out to the right. Marquinhos gets across to intercept that. Yamal is offering some sort of an apology there. Clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. I think we're actually in for a treat here, Peter, because we get to see Christo Stoichkov. Never one to stay in the same position. He has a lovely instinct for his trade, and his trade is goals, many of them. Indeed, Bulgaria's best ever, surely. Always kind of makes me feel he's going to score. Nicely weighted. Great hit! It's come back out! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time. Well, that's not the best attempt by the keeper, and he's just paid the ultimate price, hasn't he? So, a breakthrough already. Foden wins the duel this time. Oh, it's a promising build-up, there's plenty of really nice passing. And that has been cut short. Rusiala. Can he get it through? Oh, not quite. Modric. Headed upfield. Well, I wouldn't quite advise they should resort to risk taking at this stage. There's plenty of time left yet. Roberto Carlos. And it's De Bruyne. De Nielsen. Madrid are seeing plenty of the ball, but for now they trail. He's going for goal! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Mbappe! Mbappe was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Now it's Stoichkov. Moved on forwards. Roberto Carlos. Yamal. Marquinhos gets a foot in here. Yamal. Stoichkov. Aim forwards. It's an inviting looking ball that. De Bruyne. That will annoy the manager, they're making themselves too predictable here. Messi. Yamal. Fiddles it through. Cafu got a long way forward to join the attack. Chance to shoot now! Danger averted for now. Oh, that's a key interception. And it's De Bruyne. Maratona to Nielsen. De Nielsen going face to face with his great rival. 
Gets his pass away. Now it's Stoichkov. Interesting ball. Foden. Looking for options for movement. OK, being behind at the break isn't ideal, but there's plenty of time to reply. Good spot, he's seen the run. Oh, nicely intercepted. Well, clearly he didn't mean it that way, and he is as disappointed as anyone. Yeah, very careless, and uh, I leave it at that. Cuts out the supply. Forward it goes. Croatia looking to pass their way through. He's found a way through. White did just about enough to come out on top there. Neither party overly willing to compromise. Now that's well seen too. Looking for the run. Holland. Roberto Carlos delivers, and the keeper's in command. Played out towards the right wing. He's shifting through the gears here. Well, now here's a good battle, bicep to... And the half-time whistle goes. So the end of the first half, both teams have had their moments. There's been no shortage of talking points, but there has been just one goal. And that is the state of it at the break. 1-0. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. Here we go again, then. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Holland! Can he finish? We've got a goal! The second half sparks straight into life! That was a given, it always was. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball and it all came good. That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. And it's played forward. The most accurate pass. Up towards the front line. Oh, Red, nice interception. Looking for the run-up. And he... Maradona! And it's a goal! Boom! There we go. And it couldn't be much better. He was born for the glory he's just managed. The apple on top of the tree. And that is fabulous. A true beauty of a goal. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? To be expected, Peter, they've gone and stepped it up. Something they've been threatening to do and will continue to do by the looks of it. Oh, it looked promising, but the final ball is just not quite right. De Nielsen. Madrid have scored two quick goals here and are 2-1 up. What a comeback. Maradona looking to run onto it. Modric. Now it's Mbappe. Messi. Oh, well played, well sorted out. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. Marquinhos with the clearance. 
And it's Roberto Carlos. Oh, it's a sweet ball, that. Well, the manager must be thinking to himself whether he's got a game-changer on that bench, and he needs to act quickly. It's a decent chance to counter-attack. And it's come back to the keeper. Ter Stegen sends that a long way. Now it's Mbappe. He's picked his way through. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. They're coming again and again. Spot on, Peter. That is ended up in no man's land. Shifted upfield. That's a throw. Se va a producir un cambio de jugadores. El dorsal 8, el dorsal 14, el dorsal 10. Modric, el dorsal. Heading towards the center. We've seen that early. El dorsal 7, 6 cents. El dorsal 18. Now it's Stoichkov. El dorsal 19, el dorsal 3. Back into the middle. Great ball. And the shot. Well, there's plenty to like about this approach. Get your head down, keep battling away, and eventually things might change for you. Well, they've got it back in a hurry. He's a sharp little ball here. Throw it. Stood up well to him there. Referee's given a throw. He's had a shot! He should have put that one away. He's really trying to take this upon himself to get it won. He's intervened well there. And he's picked out the run. Well, he was clearly disappointed with that pass. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Neymar. Haaland really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. To Nilsson. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. 
He's tried one! And no, he couldn't find a finish. Kimmy really thought he'd scored to settle this contest, and he's struggling to believe being denied. And we have our very Se first corner. Un cambio de jugadores. El dorsal 20 será reemplazado por el dorsal 17. Se va a llevar a cabo un cambio de jugadores. Finds himself unceremoniously floored. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Neymar. Threads one in. Nice interception, his positioning was spot on. And the pass is intercepted. Now that looks a decent ball. Habrá cuatro minutos de descuento. And well played, that has snuffed out the danger. Aimed beyond the defence. You can never be short of runners in the space, as long as the space left behind is filled. Now it's Neymar. Nice bit of skill, and he's away. Kimmich. And time is up. Perfect result, perfect outcome. A test passed with flying colours. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? From the manager's perspective, Peter, I don't think he could have asked for much more. Well, certainly, result-wise, this is a game they wanted to win for so many reasons, and his players did a sterling job carrying out the instructions. Thoroughly enjoyable. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.